Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I'm going to do a reading for you. So this reading is going to be a love reading for soulmates, twin flames, whatever name that you have for it, whatever label you have for it. Um, this is going to be that reading. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and I do work on a more individualized basis. So just take the messages as they personally resonate with you. Leave the rest behind. Information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box down below. And if you like to help support the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment down below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start off the, by pulling the mutual energy between the lovers in this reading. So let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about the mutual energy between the lovers in this reading. Oh, this is so cute. Look, you guys got the six of cups. Uh, this is past life energy. This is soulmate energy. This is um, a beautiful love, an innocent love, a feeling of coming back home, a feeling of joy and happiness um, and sweetness. A very sweet connection is what I'm feeling here, but it's also about the past. So I feel here that someone is thinking about the past. Someone is thinking about their memories with their soulmate. And there is a very strong past life connection here. Okay. So someone's thinking about memories with their soulmate. Very sweet memories. And I think you're thinking about a time when you guys were younger. Okay. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you um, with the Six of Cups. So I do feel like this is a relationship from the past. And I think that it was very rocky, very turbulent um, in this connection. I do feel like this person wasn't ready for the connection with you. That's how I'm feeling here. This person that you were in a relationship with, they weren't ready, okay, um, in the past. But I'm seeing here that someone wants to reconcile Someone wants to talk. Their soul has been calling them forward. Um, they want to communicate, okay? But I think that the feminine energy, the divine feminine I'm seeing here is uh, cautious about that because they've been hurt by this person. And although they have very sweet memories together, there's still a lot of pain there. So again, there's a feminine who's feeling very cautious um, about this masculine. Let's get another card here. Spirit, please reveal to me, tell me more about the mutual energy between this feminine and this masculine. Okay, we got the sun here. So yeah, this person might be younger than you. Okay, um, but with the sun here, Again, it, it was very immature energy. This person was not ready for you, right? I feel like, Feminine, I feel like in what I'm channeling right now off of you is that you're really kind of like an old soul energy is what I'm picking up here. So there's not a lot of people your age that can really connect with you on a soul level, on a mental level. Um... And, you know, I think that's hard for you. It leaves you feeling a little bit lonely at the end of the day. And um, I think that it does scare your person a little bit, okay? And it's like they just felt they weren't ready for the connection. And I do think this person might be younger than you in age as well, okay? We have Leo energy here. We have Scorpio energy here. I'm also feeling like feminine. I think that you love this person. 
because they're so much fun. They're so carefree. Like, and it's like they're always up for anything. They're not afraid to take risks. They speak what's on their mind. They're very forward, um, very open, very like um external. Um, this person I think has a very beautiful smile, a smile that can really light up the room, but they also have another side to them that's very immature. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this feminine's energy towards her masculine. Who is this feminine? Let's see. Okay, Cancerian energy. We got the chariot. All right. So, Feminine, I feel like you were very patient with this person. You gave them plenty of time. You gave them plenty of opportunity because you understand that fate and destiny is worth waiting for. Um, and I think that you understand a certain... Um, something about fate about destiny and you know what i see you guys very much have very strong soul ties okay um very very strong soul ties and they do come from a past life all right um but with the chariot here it's like you feel that first of all i feel there's been a separation for a while it's been quite some time okay um and you feel like your person really needed time to grow up spiritually. This isn't about growing up physically, right? You're both adults in this reading. This is about growing at a soul level, growing spiritually, and actually maturing. Okay, so that's how you felt you needed to step away um, to let this person mature so they can meet you more on your level. Let's get another card here. Feminine, I'm also seeing that it was fated that you meet this person. It was destiny that you met this person. Um, I think that it shows up in your birth chart as well um, around the sun and moon. Okay, so you might have a sun and moon that is reverse with your person. Like, let's say you have a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon. Your person would have a Cancer sun, a Scorpio moon. So that type of energy, that's what I'm picking up here. Okay, so definitely there is faded markings in your birth chart. We got happiness. You feel like you've had the best moments of your life with this person. Um, the moments you've had together, um, it was so sweet. Such a happiness, such a joy with this person. Like your soul had finally felt what it was searching for. Your soul had finally found its other half you had finally found your fate your destiny um and words can't describe the happiness that you feel when you're with your other half it feels like your heart and soul is just lit up with light but you're weary about this connection you're weary about your person coming back into your life because now i feel this person wants to reconcile and while they made you extremely happy, happier than anything you've ever felt before being with this person, even thinking about the memories that you have with this person makes you feel so happy and you miss them. But what I'm seeing here is that the happier you are, you found out that the happier you are, the higher you go, the farther you fall, the sadder you feel when there's a disconnect, when there's a betrayal, a misunderstanding. And you felt that this person was too immature to understand you at a soul level. Because the sun represents the soul as well. Let's take a look um, at your masculine's energy, feminine. Feminine, they're showing me driving... You driving home from work, like, in the very, like, wee hours of the morning. So you're either driving to or home from, like, work or something every day. And it's, like, 
those moments when the sun is either coming up or going down, but I feel like it's coming up. King of Cups. So yeah, we got Scorpio here for your masculine. I think that this masculine is a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. Probably sun. Scorpio sun. Uh, feminine, you're probably a Scorpio moon. Okay, but just take what resonates, you guys. Um, the signs are not that important. But with the King of Cups here, this masculine loves you. They love you deeply. They have a lot of emotions for you, and their emotions are very intense. But they have a very hard time expressing those emotions. They have a very hard time opening up about their emotions. This person also has a hard time with expressing how they feel and expressing their emotions with actions. I feel like that's something they never learned how to do. Okay, so this person, they might have um, grown up feeling like the people around them, their parents, their guardians, whatever it is, didn't express themselves emotionally. And maybe even it was looked down upon so this person never learned how to kind of express themselves emotionally and put their emotions really into words and, and express themselves through action specifically. So maybe even words are there, but the actions just aren't there, right? And it's because they've never learned how to do this. And that's what I'm seeing here. Here, tell me more about this masculine's energy towards um, this feminine. Okay, so they are filled with a lot of inner conflict. They feel that their world is chaotic right now. They can't seem to think straight because they're feeling very emotions. These very strong emotions. These emotions come in like tides, like tides on the ocean. Okay, and um, it affects them very much so. And when these emotions come in, they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about you, feminine, and they feel drawn toward you. They feel tied towards you. And you do have a very strong soul tie with this person. It cannot be erased. It cannot be broken. It is too strong. And I feel like you might have even known each other as children. You might have grown up with this person. Okay. Um, in some ways, at least. So when you grow up with someone, you don't have to be a very young child, but you can really grow together um, as a soul, as a spirit, um, you know, and learn. So when you grow up with someone, maybe um, you're meaning that in the way that you both have learned and experienced so much in the connection that you have matured as a soul. Okay. So their emotions have them in inner conflict. When they get these rushes of emotions and what spirit is showing me, they, they come like the tides on the ocean and the moon affects these emotions very strongly, specifically the full moon. Every time there's a full moon, this person feels very chaotic. So I feel like the moon really affects this masculine. Um, and they can't control their emotions. They start thinking about the past. They start thinking about the memories with you. And it brings up a lot of inner conflict. As a matter of fact, they can't stop thinking about you on those days. Feminine, you are like the moon moving over them in these memories and pulling at their emotions, pulling at the waters within them, creating these tides that are fluctuating. And um, it's affecting their thoughts. So feminine, what are you thinking about your person? What are your thoughts about your person? Okay, feminine, what are your emotions towards this person? And the actions you want to take. Okay. So we got a lot of fire energy here. We got Aries very strongly. We got Leo Sagittarius, but Aries and Sagi are very strong, especially Aries. 
but um, what I have here in your thoughts, Ten of Wands, Feminine, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed um, with this connection. You're feeling overwhelmed with the passion. For some reason, you've been feeling very drawn to this person and your mind and your emotions um, and your energy very strongly. Maybe even at night, you're dreaming about them. And I feel like certain things they've said to you, you're hearing like in real time. So you might hear something that your person always says to you and it feels like they're really with you saying this to you. Um, it's become very strong, very overwhelming. So you're questioning why is this taking place right now? You're unsure really what to do about it. And it is very spiritual. It is taking place on a spiritual level. Queen of Wands. All right. So let's get another card here. Spirit, tell me more about the Ten of Wands and the thoughts of this feminine. Yeah, you're overwhelmed by the separation. Okay, you really are. But you know what, feminine? You had to walk away because you knew you deserved more. You knew you deserved a progression in the relationship. You knew that you deserved um, something more mature, right? Like this person... Um, was in a very childlike energy. And you knew that you deserved more. Like I said, you're a very old soul. And um, you walked away. But now, and look at how, like, you can see kind of the moon. And it's coming in. And it's like now you're just feeling this pull like never before. Okay. It's overwhelming. It feels very strong. You're also getting um, passionate hits of energy going through you where you're missing your person you feel extremely passionate about them all of a sudden and I feel like you're unsure where it's coming from but it is becoming a lot it's becoming overwhelming you don't know what to do about this two of wands in reverse so you're undecided you're unsure and notice the moon here again feminine you know what I'm seeing about you I think that you could definitely be a cancer energy and what I'm seeing about your specific vibration is that you almost like embody the frequency of the earth and the effects that the moon has on the earth. And, and what I mean by that is I think that you naturally channel that energy. So you might feel very, very close to the moon um, and also the effects the earth has on you know, um, the effects that the moon has on the earth. So you might really feel that before everyone else, very strongly, intuitively connected to the moon, and you feel those effects. So you might be a very naturally gifted astrologer um, or working with phases of the moon in different types of ways, okay? Or reading the way that the moon's energy would affect the earth or affect the collective in some sort of way. But I think you're very naturally gifted at that that is like your superpower feminine so let's take a look here spirit please reveal and i think it becomes overwhelming for you sometimes because of that um especially when we have those really like um aggressive moon energies right you start feeling that stronger and more than everyone else because you're like one of these node points on the earth that picks up that energy from the moon directly. Um, so you're almost like the moon's energy point here on earth to absorb that energy and release it, right? That's what I'm picking up from you. And I know that that sounds kind of strange, but I hope it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's get another card here for the emotions you have towards them. Okay, balance, Libra energy, finding balance between giving and receiving. I think that when you were with this person, it started becoming a situation to where you felt like you were their mother and not, you know, their significant other and not their partner. And I feel like that's not what you wanted. You didn't want to take care of someone in that way. You didn't want to, you don't want your significant other or your partner to be like a child right? You want them to um, challenge you as well. Um, you want them to um, accept you and you want them to kind of like be almost on the same energetic level as you are 
um, at least so you can challenge each other to grow. Um, and you just wasn't getting that balance in those ways. So I think you're very wary about the connection, but are feeling that strong spiritual pull with the Queen of Wands here and the actions you want to take. Okay, so you're feeling kind of inspired to reach out to them again, but I think that you're undecided. You haven't 100% made that decision. Okay, let's get another card here for the actions. Okay, but truly you're wondering about them. You're questioning if they've grown up a little bit in their energy, right? Um, if they've learned um, the karmic lesson they were supposed to learn. If you guys, if it's possible for you to have a new beginning, to forget about the past and to start over again. To finally be able to have that balance that you've been searching for and you know that you deserve. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you, Feminine, about your energy towards your person. Okay, sorry, I fell on the floor. Okay, feminine. Look how beautiful this is. And this is talking about a new beginning that is about to spring forth, right? But first, it's time to look within yourself. Look inside of yourself. What is causing you to feel this way? What is causing you um, to feel cautious, to feel weary, right? Um, what is it really? What is the deep root of the problem, okay? Because truly, this person makes you happy and you want a new beginning, but you need it to be balanced. And I think that it's almost like you're shutting it down um, and not really wanting to give it a chance is what I'm seeing here. And Spirit's just asking you to look inside yourself because I do think that some time has passed and this person has grown a little bit. Okay, so let's look into their reading and we'll... Spirit, please reveal to me what is this masculine's thoughts towards this feminine? I just heard remorse. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, this is them. You know, I feel like they're looking back to the past. They do have remorse. They feel very foolish for the way they treated this relationship. And um, I do think they're wanting to invest some time, some energy into the connection. Um, they're reanalyzing the past. They're reanalyzing their behavior in the relationship. And they're realizing that it didn't even make sense. That's how they feel. They're like, you know what? The way that I treated this person, the way that I acted didn't even make sense. It was so immature. Um, so they're looking to... Put some time, put some energy, and put some effort and work into reconciling with you, okay? And they're thinking about it, and they're thinking about you as well. All right, so let's get another card for what they're thinking about you. As a matter of fact, Feminine, they cannot stop thinking about you. They're actually having a lot of obsessive thoughts, um, it says, I'm obsessed with you and our memories. It's almost killing me. So now we have that Six of Cups energy again. Um, thinking about the past, feeling remorse, feeling regret, feeling like you should have put in more time, more effort, more energy, more work. Um, so much conflict, so much frustration with themselves. And, you know, they can't stop thinking about you, feminine, because the truth here is, they also feel happiness. They also feel joy when they think about your memories together. And they feel like it's unmatched. The time you've spent together, the way they felt around you, no one can ever make them feel that way again. And no one ever has. And they have had to realize that. And they have had to learn that lesson the hard way. But they have learned it. And now they can't stop thinking about you. Especially on nights with a beautiful full moon. That divine feminine energy really overtaking their thoughts. Here, please reveal to me, tell me more about the emotions this masculine has towards his feminine.
Look at that, Six of Wands. So with the Six of Wands card, this says, listen, I know what I've done wrong. I know um, that I hurt you. I know that I was foolish. I recognize it. I fully take responsibility in this connection. And, I, and they're saying I didn't recognize it in the past. And you know what? I feel shame for that. I feel remorse for that. I was so immature. And I recognize how immature I was. Get another card here. They're saying they put you in a rough spot. That you guys had a rough beginning. And they do recognize it was all due to their behavior. It was all due to their inner conflict. And it had absolutely nothing to do with you. But right now, they're willing to fight for your love. They recognize that they love you. And that they are the ones who made this relationship hard. They are the ones who created this rough beginning. That it wasn't you. It wasn't you at all. And so I feel like they're frustrated with themselves. They feel like they had everything they had ever wanted, ever needed. And a perfect soulmate. Because they do recognize at a soul level, you are their soulmate. Six of Cups, soulmate energy. But they didn't recognize it. At least they didn't show you that with their actions when you were together. And so I do feel like it's almost like they kick themselves daily. Why did I do this? Why did I make it so hard for someone to just love me? Why do I make myself so hard to love? That's what this masculine is thinking. Spirit, what are the actions this masculine would like to take towards this feminine? Okay, we got the emperor. Okay, so they're ready to take control of their life. This masculine is saying, hey, feminine, remember me, right? From a long time ago, remember our memories? Well, I know I was immature, but guess what? I've grown. I've matured. The emperor is mature. So this masculine has really grown and matured. And I think that, and what I'm channeling is that it took losing you to find what they really had. It took losing you to recognize how immature and conflicted in their emotions they really were. It took losing you to make them realize how hard they made this connection, this relationship, when it shouldn't have been hard. Not as hard as it was. But now they're ready to fight. They didn't want the relationship before because it felt hard. It felt like they would have to grow up mature and they were afraid of doing that. But in losing you, feminine, they have realized that nothing beautiful, nothing worth anything ever comes easy that everything that's worth it is hard and everything that is hard and worth it is worth fighting for and not just giving up so they're ready to fight now fight for your love and they're saying i need to prove that i've grown up i need to prove that i've matured And they're determined to be successful. Okay, this masculine, I think, has a lot of fire energy within them as well. I'm picking up water and fire in this masculine. All right, let's get another card for their actions towards you. All right, we have nothing solid. I can't offer you anything solid right now. Please be patient. Okay. So they're coming up with a plan. They're coming up with a plan. They want your attention, feminine. They want success and having a new beginning. And I think that's what you want too. But they know you're weary about them. They know that you're not going to accept anything solid right now. And that's what they know. And they know they deserve that completely. So right now... What they feel is that they have to prove themselves and they are determined 
to make you realize um, that they have grown. Okay, so let's get another card here. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you about your masculine's energy. Hey, feminine, look at that. All right, you've lost hope on this connection. You're weary, but there is changes, and people can change. Sometimes people magically change, and guess what? This person, after you walked away, after they lost you, it's like they magically shifted. It took a lot of tears. It took a lot of pain, um, res remorse, okay, grief. Um, but that change did happen, and I think you felt like they would never change, right? But they've done a lot of reflecting, all right? They've done a lot of reflecting in the space that you've had without each other. And we have trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right. So that's what Spirit wants to tell you. If you need time, if you need space before you make a decision with this person, that's fine. They could use a little more reflecting. That's what Spirit's saying. Yes, they've come to this conclusion. It's beautiful. It's great. But they could still use a little more reflecting. They're still in inner conflict emotionally. Okay? So just give each other some space at the moment. If that's what you feel you need, feminine, just have that trust and have faith that all is going to work out for the best, regardless of what you choose, feminine. But I think you feel destined towards this person. I think you've been waiting for them to return to reconcile with you. And I think that you knew in your heart that one day you would be together again. You felt that in your heart every day of your separation. So let's get a message of love from Spirit to close out this reading. And then we'll get um, messages to you, feminine, from your masculine. See what they want to say to you. Spirit, what would you like to tell this feminine and masculine about this relationship? Okay, feminine, there is an abundance of happiness. There is an abundance of love that is available to you. The only thing you have to do now is to allow it to flow to you. You've done the work, okay? Um, Spirit saying, now that abundance of love, that abundance of faith, that abundance of whatever it is you're looking for is coming towards you now, okay? So let's close out the reading. We're getting some messages from this masculine to the feminine. And just to go over signs, we have Leo, we have Cancer, we have Scorpio, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Aries. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn. We have um, Leo again and Aries and Libra. All right, let's go ahead and get some messages to the feminine from the masculine here. Heart to heart. And messages to the feminine and the masculine. Okay, feminine, here's what your masculine wants to tell you. I felt every time that I lied, something was not right in my heart. You know, so I think they ran. They felt very immature. And that was the problem there. And they're like, I felt every time that I ran from you. I felt every time that I lied to you. A little break in my heart. They're saying, I have this void without you and I have not been able to fill it. I have this, you know, deep, um, dark void in my heart. And since you've, we've been apart, nothing has been able to fill this void. 
for you. And, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Um, they had everything they wanted right here in you. And um, they took it for granted. They want you to know, since you've been separated, nothing has replaced you in their heart. Nothing ever could. And, you know, the grass wasn't greener. It wasn't better. All they want is you back. They want a second chance. So that's the reading that I have for you today. I hope this reading could help bring clarity and insight to someone if it resonated with you. Please leave me a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.